I've been using Tableau for a few years now, and I didn't realize you could load different types of color palettes. So I'm going to explain each type of color palette, their use cases, and how to load your own. Tableau supports three main types of color palettes. Categorical, which are made of distinct items. So each value gets its own distinct color, and there's no gradients. Sequential, which is for values that go from low to high. This creates a smooth gradient where lighter colors means lower values and darker means higher. And diverging, which is for data that goes above and below a midpoint. So it's like having two gradients that meet in the middle, with a neutral color in the center. And each type has a different purpose. So I'm going to show some examples in Tableau first, then I'll walk through how to load your own. And I'm starting with Tableau's default palettes so I can show the different use cases for each type. So categorical palettes are great for brand colors because you can easily reuse them. This could either be one company's colors like Google's, or this could be colors across multiple companies. You can even do unique colors like white, black, and my favorite, which is transparent. And there's so many great use cases for transparent that I'll cover them in a separate video, but I'll include the hex code for it in the description. But categorical palettes can only show up to 20 colors in Tableau. And these can only be used for discrete fields, which means each value is separate and you assign a color to each one. There's one other palette that can work with discrete fields, and that's sequential. So in this orbit chart example, each dot is a separate value. And even though it's discrete, we can still get a gradient by choosing a sequential palette. So these are great if you need more than 20 colors, but you still want that smooth gradient effect. You just pick two colors to start, like I picked yellow and pink here, and Tableau fills in the rest to create a gradient. Sequential palettes are the only type to show up for both discrete and continuous fields. So I can use that same yellow to pink color palette for a continuous field like sales on a map. But for continuous ranges, you typically want to show a measure using a light to dark gradient. So instead I could use this custom light pink to dark purple palette to represent sales, which is something you can't do with Tableau's default palettes. They don't let you create a custom gradient from one specific color to another. Another way to color continuous fields is using a diverging palette. These show one gradient above a midpoint and another below. So if profit is above zero, it's a green gradient, and below zero, it's red, with white at the center. But if I try changing the shade of red, you can see the center turns gray, even when I set the center to be at zero. And that's where custom diverging palettes come in. They let you use your exact shades of red and green while still keeping the center white. And one of my favorite uses for diverging palettes is creating multicolored gradients. You may not see this in a lot of business dashboards, but they're perfect for when you want to get creative, like turning a continuous measure into a rainbow or a neon gradient. Now loading these custom color palettes is actually pretty easy. And the process is the same for all the different types of color palettes, just with a small tweak. Start by going to your documents folder, then go into my Tableau repository, and you'll see a preference file. Open this up in a text editor. And this code might look complex, but there's only a few things you need to change. This is where you name your palette, and that's what you'll see in Tableau. This part controls the type, so type equaling regular is for categorical. Ordered hyphen diverging is for diverging palettes, and ordered hyphen sequential is for sequential palettes. And here's where you list your hex codes. So these are the actual colors that Tableau will use. Then make sure you save the file, close out of Tableau, and then reopen it. And on this Tableau dashboard that I published and linked in the description, there's a button for the guide to add. This tab has step-by-step -step instructions, and you can click to get the code that you'll copy and paste into your preference file. You only need to include the opening and closing tags once. Then you can paste any palette inside. And I've included examples for all three types of palettes to make them super easy to implement.